This is the Cisco Systems Model 2851 Integrated Services Router. In this video, we will be installing a PVDM module as well as an HWIC module, or in our case, a VWIC 2 2MFT T1E1 card. Begin by turning off the power to the router via the switch from the front panel. Then gently grasp the power cord and pull backwards to remove. First we'll install the PVDM modules. With the back of the router facing you, locate the three screws on the top of the cover. You'll need to remove these screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. Once all the screws have been removed, gently lift up the top cover. With the router back facing you, the top cover will slide off to the right side. Here is a view of the top cover being removed from the front of the router. As you'll notice, there are tabs in the top cover that will slide out from the grooves in the router chassis. Here is a view of the motherboard on the router. Locate the PVDM slots as shown here in the front of the router. Here is a zoomed in view of the router motherboard. Note that the PVDM slots are to the front of the motherboard. This is the PVDM264 4 DSP module from Cisco. Please take note that the right hand side of this module has a notch in it. Please notice that the right hand side of the PVDM slots have a groove in them. Please gently press the module down. Then press the module back. Once it snaps in place, the module has been installed. Once the PVDM module has been installed, gently reinstall the cover, noting that you slide the cover as you press it down. Once the cover has been replaced, remember to screw in all three of the Phillips head screws, securing them tightly with a Phillips head screwdriver. Next, we will be installing the HWIC card. In this example, we will be installing the VWIC 2 2MFT T1E1 card. Begin by locating the HWIC slots on the back of the router. Begin by removing the Phillips head screws from both sides of the blank covering the HWIC slot. Once these screws have been removed, gently pull on the blank to remove it. Carefully remove the HWIC card from its static bag and insert it into the router. Press gently until it clicks into the router. Once the HWIC card has been installed, use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure both sides of the card into the slot. You have successfully installed both PVDM and HWIC cards. This concludes the training video. Thank you for watching.